Hello, this is Ronnie Boy. Welcome to the Ronnie Boy Show. And this is a tutorial session here. And this will be the first video in a series of one. Okay. Today, children, we will be learning how to make a back scratcher from regular household items like beer bottle caps and stuff like that. You know, stuff you have just laying around the house. <laughs> okay. Uh, first thing you're going to need is one of these. It's uh, one of those things if you look in your basement the things that hold the duct work together in your basement for heating or air conditioning probably heating mostly all of you go down and look at your basement them square pipes each section is held together with one of these so go down there and take one off and then um, uh, look around your living room or something like that and and pick up a, a an old bottle cap you know like Pepsi or something no, actually, what I did, this um, guy I know owns a bar, and I said I could use some bottle caps. He said, you know, I don't drink out of the bottle, beer out of the bottle. I like drinking out of the can. Anyway, he bought me a whole bunch of them. And uh, the slits, lining cool goes. That's made in Wisconsin, up north of the... And uh, Corona, it's Mexico beer. And, you know, it, it, it seems to be very popular. Yuppies like it because it makes them look cool. Yeah, we got Corona. But I talked with a couple of people who had been took a trip down to Mexico. They said Corona is kind of like the uh, old Milwaukee of this country. <laughs> and I agree, I taste it. Give me an old style or a bud. There you go. And to hell with light beer. Get out of the hay mow. Old style or Budweiser? I used to once in a while have Miller, but he don't have the beer flavor it should. And like I said, light beer is not beer in my book. Okay, okay, back to the back scratcher. Okay, get one of these thingy majobs off from uh, your duck work in the basement, and you put a little kink in it like that to make it so you can get it. See, see how it works? Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. It's better than, uh, well, no, maybe not. But anyway, it, you need to take one of these bottle caps. Oh, I got a Schlitz. I just reached in and grabbed this. It's a Schlitz. That's made in Milwaukee, or it used to be. Anyway, anyway, you drill a little hole in the middle of it. Right in the middle. And you drill a hole in here like I did with this one. And you hold that baby on there. And uh, you take out a pop riveter. You know, it's, you know, there's these aluminum rivets, and it's got this little gun. Oh, I should have brought it over here. But you know what a pop riveter is. And you get the rivet and whoosh, rivet it on there. You got a back scratcher. And, oh, oh. Oh. oh, I tell you. Oh, oh, mm. oh. See, you can kill two birds with one stone. I don't know. I don't know what you're going to do about that pipe. That's a part in your basement now, though. Or you could go to where they're building a house and ask the workers there if you mind if you take a couple scraps and okay it with them. You don't want to just go there and take it. But uh, a lot of times they throw, this is about 21, 22 inches long before I put the bend in it. And uh, generally they'll give stuff like that away because they're going to throw it out anyway. But it's good to ask. If not, maybe, maybe get a couple lengths of it for a buck or a couple cans of beer. <laughs> <laughs> or make him a back scratcher. <laughs> okay, that's the Ronnie Boy Show. Uh, like I said, this is the, the first in a series of video out of one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you for watching the Ronnie Boy Show.